Okay, figured I'd do a little, uh, I guess, peek at progress on my, my wings. Um, again, I'm building the 750 Stole. Uh, did some searching on YouTube today and didn't see a whole lot of how the wings go together. Um, you've got the picture guide and then I've also got the home built help videos and they kind of contradict each other a little bit and I think there's been some updates since both of them been made so I figured I'd put a little video together and show kind of what I'm doing and I already made one mistake but should be able to get around it. So I'll jump in and show you what I'm working on. So I've got everything kind of roughly clicoed together. I'm just experimenting with sticking on some of the flap around brackets and whatnot. Um, I did already go through. Let's see if the lighting's good down here. Um, put these little flanges together. Riveted those on. No big deal. Some of the other videos I saw, they went through the gaudy detail of rounding off those corners a little more nicely. I might might drill those out and make them look a little cleaner. Still got quite a bit of time to do that, so that'll probably be on my to-do list. Um, other than that, I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. Kind of got into the groove. It was a pain in the butt to get them all evenly spaced. Made, I think I scrapped four of them before I finally figured out how to do it. Got them as close to the center as I could there. Um, there's some that's, this one's a little bit worse. But, for the most part, I'm pretty satisfied. Uh, everything just, again, roughly clicoed in. Make note on this one, since the fuel tank goes in there, that one faces backwards. Where I made my mistake already is I was following the instruction manual versus watching the home built help. And instruction manual said go ahead and drill the holes for this root rib and attach it. And I was probably working a little faster than I should have. Got into the home built help videos and it said don't do that until much later once you do the the rib skin the root skin rather um, makes it much easier to get the holes drilled into here um, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do quite yet uh, I don't I mean they're only uh, I opened them up to a 20 and it there's a, uh, a plate that goes on here and there's kind of a a lip right now so I think I might order order some new ones of those just to make it right we'll see um, so other than that everything kind of goes together pretty quickly working on this doubler here it took me a minute to I assembled and reassembled a few times to figure out how this channel went. It's a little, it's exactly as the home-built help videos say, but a little bit against logic. Um, there's a 90 degree angle over here and greater than 90 over here. So logic kind of says that because this, this top rib is sloped, you would put the greater than 90 here and since this this is flat you would put the 90 over here but in reality this channel doesn't sit flat and the trailing edge of the rib is not perpendicular to here so it's actually there's a 90 degree corner here 
greater than 90 back here. I, was, I had it right the first time, and then I took it apart and put the, so I'm working on the right wing here, I put the, the left wing on, realized that wasn't right, and finally scratched my head looking at the plans and flipped everything back around to the original way I had it, which was correct. So I'm going to pull this off. There's pre-drilled holes back in here. So I'll drill through into the doubler. And I think I'm going to double check. Not sure what size those get opened up to. And it actually says I can if I want to. I can um, deburr all of those holes and final rivet the, the nose ribs and the, the main ribs to the spar. So I'll have to do that. I'm gonna number everything first, so make sure I put it back where it started. But all of these holes were pre-drilled. Actually, the spar holes were pre-drilled from the factory. The the rib holes came in at a number 40, which was a bit of a pain. Um, if you don't have one already, hopefully you can kind of see it here. I recommend one of these drills. So that smaller diameter up top goes into a number 40 hole. And as you drill bigger, or as you, so that way you can center on it, and then the, the bottom part opens it up to a number 20. Um, I forget where to order these. Uh, Yardstore.com. What's it called? It's a double margin 20 by 40 pilot. So it was, I used that to open up the, all of the ribs, the nose ribs and the main ribs. Um, that way they'd match up nicely with the, the 40 holes that were already in the spar wonder, I'm assuming maybe the spar shares is common to both the cruiser and the stole, and the ribs are probably different. Um, so, we will uh, cut out here and catch back up when I get some stuff riveted together and get the back side of this drill. Interesting thing that I just saw in the instruction manual. Um, so there's the, the doubler that goes back here, and the doubler actually goes below the flange that's on the rib, and then so the rib is between the doubler and um, this rear channel. Let's see if I can kind of show that. So. Not quite enough light, but there you go. Okay, I'm going to open up uh, all the holes here, potentially with the exception of these three to number 20. Okay, guess it's time to open up uh, all of the holes on the back side of the rear ribs up to size 20. So, got a lot of drilling to do. 